Uh, so imagine if you could actually relight a photo like after you've taken it. Can't be done. It, there's no way, <laughs> right? Well, there might be a way uh, that Adobe has figured it out along with a partnership with Inria for Project Light Right. Project Light Bright? Light Right. Oh. Light Bright was too. We had some legal issues with that. Yeah. Nonetheless, presented by Michael Garvey right over here. Welcome, Michael. Thank you, Paul. Hi, everyone. So last year, I traveled to the little town of Manarola in Italy. It's a beautiful place, and I wanted to be there for the golden hour so I could take a picture of this nice city. But unfortunately, I couldn't stay until the sunset. So instead, this is the picture I got. It's, you know, not bad, but probably I would not hang it on my wall. The lighting is harsh, and the shadows are a bit nasty, and the colors are faded. Wouldn't it be nice if we could change the illumination of that picture, all from the comfort of Photoshop? Well, this year, with collaborators from Inria and UC Berkeley, we actually developed an AI that can alter the lighting of your pictures automatically. So here's another example. Uh, this is another picture from the same trip in France this time. So as you can see, the little church is backlit. So it's a little bit hard to make out the details on the facade of the church. Let's see if we can improve the lighting of this image using our software. So I will launch our interface here. It takes a little bit of time because our algorithm needs to analyze the image. It, um, it will process the geometry of the image, detect some shapes, and then that will allow us to basically track the sun position, detect where the light is, and from that information, we can move the light around. And once the pre-processing step is done, the AI will actually run in real time, allowing us to change the illumination. So we'll wait a couple more seconds here. And this is the, this, there's only one input, which is this one image, correct? Uh, I'll, I'll tell more about this. Okay. It's, it's a more complicated than that. <laughs> okay, so here we are. We have that uh, one image preloaded. That's my input image that I took in south of France. And you see a bunch of sliders here. Um, basically, those two sliders, when I move them around, allow me to change the position of the sun in the image. And so I want, you to, I want you to look at the preview in the middle, and you'll see the illumination change as I drag those. And there we are. Wow. Isn't that awesome? Isn't that much better? No. So also note that as I drag the sun closer to the horizon, the color of the image changes. So we can get more of a sunset effect on this image. Oh. That's impressive. Okay, so, so you notice that the AI is actually generating shadows on the fly as well, right? So under the hood, our algorithm actually takes more than one image as input. And so we take multiple frames that are seen from different viewpoints. So we have several images as inputs, like you. A lot of bad photos, yeah. And using those several images, <laughs> No, but I get where you're going with it. Yeah. I just wanted to add. You know. <laughs> so using those images, we can actually reconstruct the 3D shapes, analyze the 3D shapes in the image, and that gives us a general understanding of the scene. From that, we can locate where the sun is relative to the geometry, relative to the shapes. And once we know where the sun is, we can actually move it around, and using computer graphic techniques, we can synthesize new shadows. But really, the heavy lifting here is done by the AI that takes all this information, package it together, and synthesize a new image that has a changed lighting. So, as I just mentioned, we need multiple viewpoints to be able to do this. But those viewpoints don't have to come from individual videos, right? Why not use a video to do this? This is an example of a, a drone video sent by my friend Jorge. So this is a, a drone video flying around the Chichen Itza pyramid in Mexico. So our algorithm can actually these frames are enough for our algorithm to understand the 3D shapes in the, image, in the scene. So we can just um, run it on those frames and produce this uh, really time-lapse video where both the camera and the lighting change at the same time. That's the result. So the, the input being that footage. Awesome. OK, so we can you know, relight multi view images, we can relight videos, but that doesn't really solve my problem. Uh, what about that vacation picture that I showed earlier? You know, I, at the time, 
we didn't have that AI, right? So I didn't really think about taking multiple images of the scene, moving around. Well, you should have gone later in the day, but anyway. Continue. I should have, but, you know, <laughs> couldn't see in the future. So I only got that one picture. Is there anything we can do to still, you know, change the limitation of that image? Well, it turns out that Manarola is actually a pretty popular touristic place. So a quick search on Adobe Stock, if the mouse doesn't freeze. All right. You got All right. This. So a quick search on Adobe Stocks will show that millions of users have already been to that place. So it turns out that the slight variation in viewpoints from all these images that I can collect from Adobe Stocks are sufficient for our algorithm to understand the 3D shapes. So I can use those, build a 3D understanding of the scene, and then use our same algorithm to relight my own personal picture. So let me pull out our interface again. This is my picture, as you can see. I will click on that one button, and hopefully that will change the lighting. Let's see. And voila. That's awesome, Michael. Thank you so much. Fantastic. Great job. Thanks. So does everybody understand what's going on here? It's incredible. This is, it's taking, it's grabbing the sort of the 3D-ness, whether your input is from your phone as you took those random angles of that ruin or from a video, or if it comes from stock, other people's photos, those are the references for that, the 3D structure of whatever you're taking a photo of, right? Exactly. We need to see. And once you have that, you're also able to control the lighting based that's correct. on that. That's correct. The lighting is entirely synthesized from scratch. That's just awesome. The 3D wow. I think it's really That's amazing. incredible. Yeah. Yeah. That's I'm into it. Thank you. I want to give him my wedding photos and add a, just a solar eclipse right in the middle of it. In the middle. It's glorious. Wouldn't that be great? Sure. And then my emoji character comes in and misses a basket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why not? Pile that on all that. Incredible. Technology. Very into it, but I think that is very cool. We should end every segment with, ah, technology. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what are you going to do?